Hello fellow engineers and welcome to Freeways. So this is an awesome little game that's really cheap. It's only like two quid. But that's not even the best thing. The best thing is the file size. Look at that. <laughs> but as a real highway engineer, I've done it for like 10 years. 10 dark and regretful <laughs> years. Uh, but I'm actually super excited to play this. So basically, we just do what the game says. And the game says, draw a road from the factory to highway six. So you can see there's a little sign six there. And this is our factory. So we've got, we've even got arrows to help us. Basically, you click on that and then you can start drawing wherever you want. So you can literally just like... <laughs> Yes. Yes. I love this game. I love this game already. Right. Uh, but this is where it gets a little bit more complicated. We've got like, we've got three arms. So on the left and right, we've got in and out roads. And then down the top, we've just got an in road. So as with most highways, I'm going to start off with just the straight dual carriageway. Oh, <laughs> not the straightest dual carriageway you ever see. And then as it says here, click highway signs to see which roads still need to be connected. So if we click on here, you can see... We've just got to go straight to purple, and we've done that. Likewise, if we click on the purple sign, we've just got a red arrow to the red sign. Now, but if we click on this one, you can see we've got to go both ways, and they're flashing. Flashing means you haven't completed a suitable route. So the first one will be pretty simple, just a nice bend like that. And now when you click on this, you can see only the purple one's flashing. So to do that one, we're going to just do a slip route off. Have a notice down here, click ramps to create overpasses. So we can go like up. And now we're like slightly higher Then we can come across and then press the down ramp again. And now we've made like a little bridge. And when we just connect in like that, network complete. So you can see now the traffic can now complete journey in all directions. Uh, so if we press this stopwatch button, this like simulates like loads of traffic over time. Uh, the aim of the game is to make sure you can get to the end. Uh, if you have too much traffic, if it's not like fluid enough, then uh, it, will, it will tell you that and you have to retry. We can see here it gives you like a load of different stuff and like a total efficiency score, 228. Uh, not really sure if that's any good. I don't think there's leaderboards or anything on this. But that is quite handy for if we want to compare like different designs. I do I do feel like we want to go through maybe not this video, maybe another video. Or maybe like comparing like proper big highway interchange layouts. Uh, let me know if you want to see that. But for now, we're just going to sort of wing it and just do whatever comes to my head first, which will probably be a knob. <laughs> But now the level is complete, we can come down here and click on map. And that takes us to this. You can see my previous two levels, they're all completed now. And they sort of stay there. So all these other tiles, you can click on them and that's another level. So for example, if we go here, this is next to the level we just did. And we've got like a classic four-way junction required. And I feel like with this layout, there's loads of like realistic designs we could choose. I'm going to go with the cloverleaf interchange. So essentially, I'm going to do my straight throughs. So there's one and there's the other one. Ideally... <laughs> <laughs> Ideally, it was a bit straighter. There's no undo in this game, which is a bit of a shame, if I'm honest. We can go to there, and then we can go up, come across, and then back down. And basically, if I if I were to not use this overpass sort of thing, I would just make like a junction, like a crossroads. And as we know from mini motorways, that's no good for traffic. Now it's this one we can't stay there. Go up, come across, and then back down. Nice. So now we've satisfied all the straight through journeys, but obviously we need to do like all the corner ones. So for example, these purple people coming from South 17, they're coming up here, but they want to go to 101 West. So the way a cloverleaf works is you cross over and then from about here, you do like a pretty steep curve like that. So now we should see when someone decides they want to go that way. There you go. This blue car. Can you see he's coming around? And then he goes under the bridge that he's just come over. And then if we just do this for the other direction, so we'll bung one in there, we'll bung one in there, and we'll bung one in there. Now you can see we've completed it. However, you will notice it's a bit of carnage because people, for example, if they want to come from the bottom and if they want to go right, they're currently going around the entire thing. So we're actually going to add some extra roads. You'll see now if we come around here and do that. Now these people, like this green car is doing, they can just get around there nice and easy. I'm going to do this one next because this looks like carnage. There we go. And then I'll do this one. And then I'll do this one. Right, and you should see in a bit the traffic will sort of get a bit better as people start using these extra arms. Now hopefully I've built that one in the right place. No one seems to be turning off. There you go, orange car. Good orange car. I think the way this works, actually, the different colored cars are heading for like the different signs. So all the orange cars are heading north, all the blue cars are going west, etc, etc. 
Uh, so these cloverleaf interchanges, they're not like the best for traffic, but they're very good at being cheap. When you build a road, the bridges are the most expensive thing ever. Uh, if you think about a road just on the ground, it's literally just road, like the ground supporting it. Still costs a fair bit, but it doesn't cost that much. If you then try and launch that in the air above a road, think about like how much strength and how much material is going to be needed to hold that road in place. And then look at this design. We're, we're satisfying all these different maneuvers. We've only got two very short little bridges in the middle. So that's generally why we use the cloverleaf interchange. And now this is all sort of set up. We can press the stopwatch button. And it gets simulated and oh, I thought I was trying to like hypnotize me into like a secret message. But yeah, that's that's bloody efficient compared to my uh, my last level. That's 438 we got there. Now we've also gained this pick. I don't know what that means. I assume take a picture of it. Oh, look, it shows you what I've designed. The game knows. <laughs> yeah, so that's that's a real life typical cloverleaf design. Oh, this is cool. I'm going to try and get all the different ones. But you can see there's only two little bridges there. Like one there and one there. All the rest is at grade, we call it. Uh, all at ground level. So nice and cheap. Sweet. This game's wicked. <laughs> I am loving this. All right. So we can go. We can click on map. And we're back to the map. <laughs> I love <laughs> I love that like it keeps all your levels and they're all intermingled. I think once you like fill in the square, it then expands. So it's not just nine levels. There's a lot to this. Uh, so shall we go in the top right? Yeah, let's go in the top right. What have we got up here? Oh, we got like a three way sort of We got like a straight up and then a little sneaky one on the right. All right, so for this one, we're just going to we're just going to see what happens. I'm not going to do any real highway stuff. We're going to Oh, that's a bit of a dodgy turn. We're going to just keep this as like a normal sort of S bend. We're going to do, we've got to do from blue down to green. So I'm just going to do like a right hand turn like that. We've got to go from green to pink. So I guess we'll just go up and sort of join there. Now we need to do pink to green. So I'm thinking if we come off like there, we can go up over these two and then straight down and connect in there like that. I think this is a good opportunity to show you the ramps so you can actually go up another level. So if we were to come off here, start heading that direction, then we can ramp up, come across here. And then when we get to that, we can actually ramp up again. So now you can see we're like over the top of that and then down and then down and then just connect back in. Network complete. So you can see this one, it's, it's like a lighter shade of grey. So we should be able to follow the blue cars now. So he's down and then he's he's gone up. And he's gone up again and then down, 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 down. Cool, right, let's press the stopwatch button and simulate this bad boy. That's a lot of traffic. Nice. Efficiency 358. Again, wish I had some sort of leaderboard just so I could see if I was doing good or not. Yeah, but right, so do we go, let's go underneath our cloverleaf design. Oh, we've got another like four wayer, but it's a bit staggered. The other thing to like take note of on this game, when you click on these signs, can you see the arrows are different thicknesses? So that's sort of where the main traffic's going to go. So we're looking here, most of the traffic is going to be pink. So as a starter, that's going to be your straight through road. And the next one is green. So maybe we just want to do simple junction off there. And that's green sorted. Then there's a little bit of light blue down there. Now we might leave that for now. Let's sort of work out what our next main ones are. So this one is going up to dark blue and down to pink. And then a little bit over to there. Which I assume is like some sort of housing estate or something. They look like little houses. Like Monopoly houses. Yeah, and this one is straight up to blue. So I'm going to do the straight up to blue first. So we'll come over here. Now we've got a bridge over that junction we did back down lovely so that's that one sorted right so now the dark blues want to go to green so that's a nice easy little shot corner there now the one thing i haven't worked out is like do cars prefer sort of leaving one side or the other i'm uh, not sure but i feel like this one we can just connect onto there so that green one's done pretty easily what are you doing good boy that's busted in he's busted through the door he's a dog he's a dog He's gone. That's what he wanted to do. All right, so from this housing estate, which I think that's what it is, we're going to come along here just as straight as we can and just connect in like that. From the blue, we're going to come straight down and connect in like that. I think from this area, we come off over there, come up and then back. Oh, no, I went the wrong way. I went the wrong way. <laughs> we got a random hill connecting like that. <laughs> that's terrible. And then from this arm, this is not ideal. But we're going to go... We could actually try something a bit sneaky. So we could come off it. I wouldn't recommend this. But you can come off here and then literally just connect into there. So that works. But we've got mingling traffic here. 
Yeah, but I feel like as it's so little traffic, maybe that's fine. I don't know. I might be overthinking, but we're going to come off here with this one as well. We're going to come up and around. We've got to get down to this pink one. And I feel like there's a nice little triangular gap there. And come around like that and then back down and connect in. And if you look, we're connecting in after traffic has come off. So you always want to sort of avoid like having a merge on to a road and then off again because you're sort of doubling up the traffic. This is ideal because you've got people coming off and then coming on afterwards. If it was the other way around, if this, we call this like a merge and that's a diverge. If we had the merge before the diverge, uh, you're like, you're mixing up lots of traffic. Uh, this <laughs> <laughs> this does look like a mess, but uh, let, let's let see see how it goes. Oh, we haven't finished. We haven't finished. What have we got to do? The game says we haven't finished. Like, none of them are flashing. Oh, do I need to... Oh, we've got to go from here. Yeah, I forgot. I forgot. That was quite silly of me, actually. Right, so we've got to go from here over to both of those. Oh, this is getting a bit tricky now. So I reckon we'll come off there. We'll go up twice. We're over the top of everything. <laughs> oh, God. My mouse cocked up there and then we connect in. Oh, we just about connected. <laughs> Look how scraggly that is. <laughs> and to be honest, it's so little traffic. I'm just going to do a junction from there. I'm going to go down twice, connect in like that. That is disgusting, uh, but it's completed. Let's see how it goes. Look, there's hardly any traffic coming to this residential place. So I think that's fine. Total efficiency, 319. I like that it tells you how much concrete you've used. I feel like that's quite a good thing to try and limit as well. We don't want to like make this super expensive look, look how neat like the realistic one is and then just carnage down the bottom <laughs> oh dear oh no they've blocked up look at that as a traffic jam <laughs> i thought that was the most efficient layout on this thing uh, i'm gonna pick the the left one i think to keep our motorway running see where it ends up Ooh. Oh, look at this. So I'm not entirely sure what these squares are. Yeah, it doesn't look like any roads connect to them. Maybe they're just things that you can't drive into. And I guess it's like someone's house and a park or something. Uh, but anyway, we've got this water in the way. So if we just have a look at the main sort of direction, it's all pretty similar, right? It's all similar. So for this one, I'm going to try and do a realistic one again. It's going to be a bit dodgy because we've got to think about whether we've got enough height with the water in the way. But essentially, we're going to do these as the straight through. Back down again, connect that in. So over there, back down. Oh, no, I went the wrong way. <laughs> I went the wrong way. <laughs> oh, dear. Down, down. Eh. <laughs> Look at that. <laughs> I wish there was an undo bus in this game. I really, really do. Uh, so this one, this one's going to be called a trumpet. And that's because it sort of looks like a trumpet. Maybe I might actually be able to do this. Maybe we'll get the like photo at the end. Uh, but essentially, this arm goes straight into there. From the green, they go over like that. Uh, now what we need to worry about is getting these people onto this road, the green road. And they obviously want to go to the right as well. Uh, so for that, you take this road, you make it go straight. We're then going to have to go up. So we've gone over the water, and then to get over the road, we've got to go up again. So now we can come down. We're still above the water, so we've got to stay as a bridge. Uh, but from here, we do a sort of round like that. And then we go down, and we're connected in there. So now these people, you can see the green car, they'll be able to come around and go like that. Meanwhile, to get the green cars to go east, we're going to have to come around here. And go up over the water and then up over that bridge and then down and then down and then network complete uh, and that's that's called a trumpet design. Like, unfortunately it's a bit it's a bit rickety it's a bit wobbly uh, but if we simulate this it might it might show us i think it did the pick thing after the simulation no it doesn't believe us this time i think because we cocked up these junctions so i might just build it again quickly see if having a steady hand will do it any quicker is that better i don't know <laughs> This game's hard to draw. My mouse drawing skills are pretty poor. I think efficiency went up though, so sweet. We'll take that. No no picture anyway, so you'll just have to take my word for it. <laughs> uh, let's see where all these people are going. Oh god, this looks mental. All right, so I think this one we just freehand again. I'm going to find out the hard way what happens if we go into this. Nope. Okay, we can't go into it. Can we go over it? Nope. Doesn't look like it. Can we go double over it? Nope. No. Okay, so trees have to be completely avoided, in which case we'll come like an S-bend around there and then we'll do a turn down to there because that was, that's the main route. Can you see how thick the red arrow is compared to all the others? Uh, this one wants to go to the blue, so I think we'll just do like an S-bend. So that's those guys sorted. 
These want to go to the green, and greens want to go up there. So I'm going to say, I, I feel like that's like a gun shop. Like they're selling lots of guns in there. I'm going to go from the gun shop straight up. This green one is going to be up and over like that. This one just wants to go down there, so that's pretty simple. Uh, annoyingly, I could have done some way more sensible stuff. If I'd made that bridge slightly longer, I could have taken these guys underneath. But I guess I could just do that and connect before it. Uh, I can also bring these guys onto the reds before the tree. I could do a junction off the bridge and then down. And that can go straight onto red. But it can also swing round for the blues as well. And then we can come off on the left side here. Over that. Back down. Onto there, just nice little little bridges everywhere. So I think that's all those done. Yep, no flashing. Yellow, we've just got to get to blue. So yellows come around here. As they've gone under that bridge, I can take them off like that. Probably just connect them straight onto this one. This is looking a mess. <laughs> I probably should have done like a roundabout for this. I wonder if you can do roundabouts in this game. Right, so purple wants to get everywhere. So I'll probably take them off before these guys merge. So you're coming off here. I sort of feel like if we just do like a loop around to there and then we can do like slip roads off. So if we do like that and then ideally connect this one after that diverge. So that's that sorted. We can come, we can get them to the gun shop by doing that. That's not ideal. I probably should have tried to connect in a little bit sooner, but oh well. And then again, we can come off like there, come down and connect in. So I think that's all of those done. Yep. And then just from 20 south, we've got to go every direction possible. Uh, so with the mergers there, I want to take these off before pretty much. So we'll come off, we'll go... I think we'll do something similar and that will come up. I'll, tr I'll try and limit the roads. I don't want to do like a massive overpass like that. We'll come along there and then we'll have to go up over that. Then we'll have to go up again to get over that one. Yeah, but then we can come down once and I feel like straight into there will be good. The down, connected in, lovely jubbly. Uh, to get to the green, I'm just going to join the gun shop exit like that. And then to get to the yellow, I might just say let's connect to this bridge. So we've got we've got a diverge there. So if we come off there, we can connect just after the diverge. And uh, and that's everything done. No, it's not everything done. We've got it. Oh, God, this is so complicated. <laughs> I have proper messed this up. So we're going from the gun shop. We've got to get to all the routes. So I am going to... I should have just done a roundabout. I really should have done a roundabout. So for this one then, we're going to come out. And I'm literally just going to do a massive loop around the entire of everything. So around there, around there, around there. Come down here and connect into that. And then if we want to... Go <laughs> what is this? So if we want to go yellow, we come off and then go down. And then if we want to go purple, we do the same. We come off and then we go down. Network complete. So this is also a realistic one. I like to call it the brain because it looks like a brain. Oh man, what a mess. Let's simulate this. Seems to run quite smoothly though. I'm not seeing anything back up too much. But uh, look, look how much concrete we use. 12,520 tons of concrete. Uh, that's a lot of concrete. <laughs> I love how simple it started and how complicated it's gotten. Let's have a go at this one. Right, for this one, sod anything. I'm just going to try and do a roundabout. This is going to be like a crazy ass roundabout. So I'm literally just going to do big as possible like that. And then it's pretty simple. We just do an on and an off. So an on and an off. On, off, on, off. <laughs> Are you seeing a pattern? Right, so that's all journeys complete. There is actually something else you can do with roundabouts to make them a bit better. Yeah, they're called like hamburger roundabouts. And essentially, if we if we try and find like one that's got a really... Yeah, so green really wants to go straight down. So it seems pointless to bring these guys all the way around. What we can do, we can make a hamburger, uh, which essentially does that. So it's like a straight through. And now you can see if you turn your head, this now looks like a burger. Uh, as this one is the same, we can just do that. And generally these are like signalized. So you'd have like traffic lights and stuff. But uh, that should be working and it's not. So I don't understand why it's not. Okay, fine. Let's clear. Now we have the knowledge. I probably should have checked the signs first. It looks like everything's pretty small apart from the main route. Uh, I, I do want the roundabout to work though. So let's draw the roundabout back in. But this time we'll try and do the straight throughs. And then shall we just try and roundabout everything else? Or shall I try and... I can do straight throughs like with the blues. So I can just go over that. Oh bollocks. Wrong way. Wrong button. I always get the button wrong. Do that. Come over there. Come down. Under that. Up. Over. Down. Connect. Oh, I've just noticed actually. These don't go to each other. They're just destinations. Ah. No, anyway, there you go. We've done our crazy roundabout hamburger thing. 
It's more of like a jacket potato now. It's cut in a cross section. But uh, <laughs> let's run the simulation and see how efficient it is. It's looking good. You can see there's way more traffic going vertically. So that's why we split that up. Oh, that's not bad. Nearly 400 efficiency. I feel like that's sort of like how you know you're doing well. I think in the 400s, you're doing good. You're over 300, maybe you're getting there. If you're sort of under 300, I think your road needs a bit of work. But yeah, that works. Now we'll have a look at this one in the middle. So looking at these, we've got to go everywhere. Yeah, we've got to go everywhere and they're all pretty even. Like all the arrows are the same thickness. So I think to start, I want to probably just put a bend in like that for that one. And then maybe come off there for that one. For this green, I'll just go straight down. It's a little bit wiggly again. Damn wiggles. Right, so this one, we're going to come straight. And we're going to go up and over. And then come back down. And we'll connect that in there. Take that one around like that. Meanwhile, coming out of the blues, come around and connect to green before the bridge. You can also come off there and do a little swoopy turn like that. You want to come off here, go up. Down like that stupid S bend. You'd never do an S bend like that. Uh, but we have. But we have. Uh, out of here, we'll just connect that way. Again, that's not ideal because you've got a merge and then a diverge. So this stretch of road will get busy. And then I probably could have done this better. But we can take these guys off, go over that road, back down, and connect in. Is that everything done? No, not quite. Because now we need to take you. Oh, we didn't. We didn't need to go up at all there. Until there bring you back down, connect you in. And then finally, from this blue, just to get to the purple, we can just come around there. Yes, you can tell I'm definitely a real highway engineer. <laughs> Look at this. Let's simulate anyway. Let's see the horrors that I've created in numbers. 382, the high 300s. I think I did all right somehow. Anyway, we'll go back to the map. And now you can see we've expanded. We've got a whole host of new levels. Look at that top left one. But you can see just by looking at the traffic, the most efficient shape clearly is this one. But yeah, that was that was freeways. I hope you enjoyed that, guys. If you enjoyed this, if you want to see more, if you, maybe we could go back to like this level and we could compare like different layouts. Because this is like a nice, simple, a nice one to test loads of different layouts. Maybe you just want to see me carry on the game. Hey, either way, let me know in the comments and boost that like button. It lets me know that you're enjoying the video and that you want more. Yeah, but anyway, peace, love, and efficient junction layouts. I'll catch you guys next time. Bye.